feel like I would drink this drink and I would speak like this. It reminds me of Better Times. I like the smell of it. It smells like apple cider. I don't know why, though. Probably because of the cider that's in it. To throw this one back, you gotta be right. <laughs> throw this one back. Which we are. A lot of people think that champagne is hard to chug. It is. But does that mean you don't chug it? <laughs> no. I love the orange peel. It smells very lemon. Who can you smell the lemon? Keeps you up and down, yeah. Make all the demons cry, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. I think that we've all had it done. Yo, welcome back to the Snapshot World Cup. We're rolling along with Group C from Argentina. It's a cocktail. It's called the Argentina Cocktail. Now, quick note on vermouth. Dry vermouth or sweet vermouth. Once you open it, put it in your fridge. This one was fresh, so it's fine to store on the shelf as long as it's sealed. One ounce of dry vermouth. One ounce of dry gin. We've got a quarter ounce of triple sec orange liqueur and a quarter ounce of Benedictine. We've got one dash of orange bitters and one dash of Angostura bitters. We're just going to stir it, so we'll take our bar spoon. You know what I think about this? Right off the bat, it's like fruit. This is the kind of drink you would make a classy girl. Like, I could see myself, girl, out on a balcony in Argentina. I, I, this just looks like something you would have, like, as an expensive Argentine. Smells? Smells fresh, you're right. It smells like fruit, doesn't it? Interesting. <laughs> what do you think? So, it actually reminds me of the color of, like, rosé. I actually would have figured this would be wine if you didn't tell me it was alcohol. It tastes like a more uh, heavy wine, almost. It does, yeah. If, if you made this sparkling, it'd be, like, a great... It's weird because it's thick, too. Like, I drink it, I'm like, mmm. There's a lot more liquor in this than I think I had realized. It's incredible because there's not a lot of burn. I feel like I would drink this drink and I would speak like this. You show up, you're wearing a like like almost like a turtleneck and a nice like blazer. You're a nice sunset with a beautiful woman. It reminds me of better times. Do you think this is a girly drink? <sighs> it looks girly. I'm gonna yep. tell you that. I feel like old rich grandmas would have this drink. To throw this one back, you gotta be right. <laughs> throw this one back. Which we are. I actually went down pretty easy. It's not bad. <laughs> I don't but know. But I, I know it's, it masks the liquor well. But when I drink it, I know there's a lot of liquor in there. I don't know if that yeah. makes sense. I would have thought it was a heavy wine, just like you were saying. Yeah. I give this, these gonna surprise you. I usually don't like these types of liquors or liqueurs. Mm -hmm. It's a point seven. Ooh, that's good for you. Everybody knows I don't give high ratings. Just Jordan thinks I pass them out like candy. Like, <laughs> it really takes the edge off, too. I feel I feel very easy right now. I shouldn't say it like that, because that sounds weird. My rating is going to be 6.2. For my rankings, that's definitely on the higher end. That 1 to 10 spectrum, 1 is the worst drink I've had, 10 is the best drink I've had, 5 is average. <laughs> I'm impressed by that drink. Yeah, I get to pick which score I'm closer to. I was very very surprised by how drinkable this was given all that went into it and given how strong it was it didn't taste very strong it wasn't difficult for me to drink or get down so for that reason and that reason only I've got to say that I'm closer to the 6.7 see we have Saudi Arabia and for that we have this drink Saudi champagne. You might be wondering why they have champagne in Saudi Arabia, given, you know, the views of alcohol in Saudi Arabia. Well, that's a great question. So Saudi champagne usually doesn't have any champagne in it. But this is Snapshot, so it's called Saudi champagne, and we just decided to add some champagne. So we're kind of replacing a few of the ingredients or really just reducing their proportions, adding champagne. This is technically a sparkling wine from California. They call it California champagne. That's a lie. It's not from the champagne region of France. So it's really just sparkling wine, but we're going to call it good enough. Saudi champagne. Snapshot. Saudi champagne. So we chopped up one orange. We'll add that to this massive pitcher. Yeah. We chopped up a few mint leaves. We'll add that to the pitcher also. Yeah. We chopped up an apple. We squeeze the juice out of two lemons. That'll take 12 ounces of apple juice. We'll put it in the pitcher. A can of Sprite, 12 ounces. And it'll take a whole bottle of champagne. So fun fact with these bottles right here, it's depressed in the bottom. It's the little divot here. So if you take your hand, depress your middle finger, you can bend that right in underneath the glass. It'll give you more control over the bottle. And we'll take our handy dandy bar spoon, pour this right into a champagne flute. My thoughts on the beverage, I'll be honest with you. I liked the mint julep that one time, but mint sometimes, I don't think mint mix, mixes well with this. 
I like the Sprite. It, it's like a shitty sangria. Like, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sorry, Saudi Arabia. It's a 4.7 for me. These drinks have torn me up because they're so different, all these drinks. Just like all the different places that are coming together for the World Cup. <clears throat> I'm not wowed. I didn't really taste the Sprite. There's not like a central theme to this kind of drink. I'm going to go, I'm going to go. A four or five. When they're separated by 0.2, it doesn't really give me a lot of opportunity. I'm above the fours. I don't think it was spectacular, but I'm above the fours. I like champagne. So by default, I'm closer to the 4.7. Let me ask you guys a question too. Why is Saudi Arabia dry? Why is it a dry country? What's the point? Y'all, if you know the answer to that, go ahead and let us know in the comments. Mexico, and for Mexico, we have El Coco Carlos. As you might guess, it involves tequila. We got Terra Mana tequila for Uncle Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Who can you smell? <laughs> We're gonna take an orange wedge. We're gonna drop it right into a shaker that's got no ice in it. We're gonna take one ounce of coconut water, half an ounce of agave syrup, and three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Then we're gonna go ahead and muddle this drink. Now remember, y'all, when we're muddling, what are we not doing? Committing a homicide. Muddle, don't murder. Push down, quarter turn. We're not stabbing this orange. We're gonna add some fresh ice to this. We'll add two ounces of reposado tequila. Shout out to Dwayne. Thank you, Dwayne. Y'all, reposado tequila is tequila that's been aged in barrels. It's barrel aged tequila. It's not been aged as long as Añejo tequila, so you start off with Blanco tequila, Reposado tequila, Añejo tequila. All right. We'll go ahead and pour it right over our rocks glass with a beautiful rock in it. And we do that for Dwayne Johnson, for Terramano tequila. And you know what? Shout out to Young Rock Season 3. He's taping it right now. It's one of the best shows out. You really get to see how he grew up, such as his, his interactions with Andre the Giant. And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have El Coco Carlos. It just smells spicy, dude. All right, let's try this drink, man. I'll tell you this, Jordan. What do you think of it? First I, glance. I really like how this the ice just kind of like makes that sound. I love the orange peel. It smells very lemon. Who can you smell the lemon? And I can smell it. <laughs> There's nothing better than Terramont tequila. All right, Coco Carlos. I knew a loco Carlos, and that's how I got this. <laughs> Carlos, I'll give you your money by next Friday. I promise. Please like and subscribe if that's gonna happen. Otherwise, well, it'll be a two-man show soon. <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm Dwayne with the shout outs, but we are huge fans of yours. We're a clang and bang type guy. We love the Iron Paradise, as you can hopefully tell. <laughs> Let's give this try a drink. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's give this drink a try. This drink is electrifying. It's electrifying. electrifying. My first sip, I didn't know if I liked it that much. I think it's because of the, uh, it's almost like having a pulp orange juice type drink where you can taste a little bit of, like the pulpish of the orange. Once you get past that, there's something about this. And I think it's the warm sensations of Terramon and Tequila. And am I sponsored by Terramon Tequila? Am I working for Dwayne on the side? I can't tell you that. Maybe. I wish I could. I've been trying. Please get me out of here. Uh, there it is warm. It's a nice, cold, refreshing drink in this rock glass, this rock ice. I'll tell you this. I give this a 7.4. 7 7.4? It's refreshing. Okay. I am with you on almost all of that. I love this drink. I like the I like the taste of orange in general. The lime juice and the orange is a good blend for me. The Terramont tequila was so... If you didn't tell me what was in this drink, I wouldn't have guessed tequila, which is how I like my tequila drinks, because I don't necessarily like tequila. This was probably one of the best tequila drinks I have had in my life. Wow. I'm going 8.5. Woo! Whoa, Nelly! As you all know, I don't get to give a rating. I just get to pick which score my score would be closer to, and I agree with literally every single thing, every single one of it, every piece of it. I agree with every single thing that Furbalicious said. I'm closer to his score. I don't really like tequila. I'm floored by this drink. Is Poland, and for Poland we have the spiced apple fizz. We have Zubrauka bison grass vodka, an ounce and a half of it into our drink. In a remote corner of Poland, in the north Polodala Sea, lowland lies a mysterious place called Baladowisa, the last primal forest, pre primeval forest in Europe, and home to the continent's only herd of bison grazing upon the streets. Why the fuck would you name a vodka? All I thought was that this was bison eating grass that somehow excreted vodka. <laughs> And then they bottled it. That's that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Poland though. Distilled from grain. Then we've got half an ounce of pear brandy. That's what I said, right? Half an ounce of lemon juice. Half an ounce of honey syrup. Now to make this at home, equal parts honey to water. Bring it to a boil, let it simmer for ten minutes, half an ounce of honey syrup. Simmer down. Some. 
and we'll top it with hard cider. We'll garnish it with an apple Too fan soon. and a light dusting of cinnamon. I like the smell of it. It smells like apple cider. I don't know why though. Probably oh, because the cider that's in it. I think you don't like cinnamon. I don't like cinnamon. Yeah. But I love apple cider. That's cinnamony. This this reminds me of a good October drink. It should be warm almost. Have you been to Oktoberfest? Let us know in the comments. Some of us, one third of us, are curious about when it happens. So this cinnamony, very tart. The vodka, I don't know. I can't really taste it. Well, I can taste vodka a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of vodka because I had too much of it at one time at one point in my life. It's one of those drinks where like I liked it a lot and then I didn't. Like it. It's interesting. What do you think? Let me. Let let me down this and then I'll give my review. It's not bad, it's just not for me. I give it a 4.9. No. It's not bad, it's not great. I like the cinnamon and it's a nice feel if I was like on the back of a buggy going through a pumpkin patch. Really wanna go to Poland? If this is what it's like there, I wouldn't mind it. I'm a guy who likes, if I can taste the fruit, if I can taste the theme of the drink, it's always going to have a little bit of an edge for me. Like, I can really taste the apple in this, but the cider, the apple garnishing even, as well as the uh, pear brandy. I couldn't taste the honey at all. That's one thing I was looking for. It didn't come out, but it meshed well together. Like I said, it, this is this is kind of a drink where it's like, if I went, went apple picking or I went to some orchard and like had a drink after, this is something I would definitely like. It's definitely not an all year round drink. Like, this is not something I'm going up, you know, even in September. It's something that if I had it, I'll enjoy it. Kind of a one and done thing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, a, a five flat. Very average drink. I have nothing. My options here are a four point nine or a five point zero. So cool. Good work, guys. Except Thanks for that. Right. I like this. I like this more than they did. I'm actually a good deal higher than both of their scores. So Furbalicious gets my rating. <laughs> if you're part of the frontier, at one and done zero to ninety. Throw a hashtag frontier in the comments. Love to hear from you. Let us know what you thought of this drink. Uh, and that's it for Group C. But uh, if you want to see more from the world cup we're making cocktails for all 32 nations participating in the 2022 world cup so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned as we roll through groups a b c d e f g and h i think that was eight of them please drink responsibly and do not drink and drive